everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to show us how to give latitude and longitude coordinates. So let's first of all consider what latitude and longitude actually is. So let's focus our attention to the left of the screen first of all, by the world on the left. So what we have here is the equator marked on this globe. And the equator is an imaginary line that runs through the centre of the Earth. The equator is really important when it comes to, for example, looking at things like climate change, solar radiation, and also weather patterns and biomes. But for today, we're solely focused on locating places using latitude and longitude. And when it comes to latitude, the equator is the most important line, that line that runs through the centre of the Earth. This is because this line will tell us by plotting latitude how far north or south you are of that line. Now let's turn our attention to the diagram of the globe on the right hand side of the screen and you'll notice on this diagram the equator is not labelled but instead there is a line that runs from the top of our globe from the north pole all the way down to the south pole which is known as the prime meridian. The prime meridian is the most important line when it comes to longitude because it tells us how far east or west we are in relation to that line. The prime meridian might also be referred to if you are located and live in the UK as the Greenwich Mean Time line. This is the time zone line we use to set our phones to London time within the UK. So let's start off by looking at a rectangle projection map of the world surrounded by numbers which are known as coordinates that link to latitude and longitude. Now this might not mean much to you right now and that's absolutely fine because this video is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how to use latitude and longitude on these type of maps. So the first thing I like to do when using latitude and longitude maps with my students is to highlight to them where the equator is. And I would usually advise students to actually grab a highlighter and to actually highlight that zero degrees line that runs through the centre of the earth with that highlighter and then to actually write on equator within that line. This is just so you have a good anchor point and you don't have to go around searching all the time for the equator and it's really clearly labelled. Now, remember, the equator is that line that we use for latitude that will tell us how far north or how far south we need to go from the equator to determine the latitude of a location. Then we're going to repeat the same step for the prime meridian. So we're going to locate the zero degrees on our map and we are going to highlight that line. And again, we're going to write prime meridian on that line. So it's easy to locate when it comes to longitude coordinates. So when it comes to the prime meridian, the prime meridian is telling us how far east or west we need to be in relation to locating a place using longitude. So now you hopefully have just a simple understanding of projection maps and coordinates. We're actually going to jump right in and start to think about how we actually use latitude and longitude to locate locations. So I am just very quickly just going to put some very simple labels around my map that help me when it comes to determining latitude and longitude. So as you can see, I've highlighted my equator, I've highlighted my prime meridian, and I'm just putting on some compass directions to help me later on. So I'm going to place a dot on my map. Hopefully you can see it in the bottom right hand side of the screen and we're going to work our way step by step through the processes of how to find a location and give the latitude and longitude coordinates. So if you take out your ruler and place your ruler along the equator, that zero degrees line that runs through the centre of the earth, this is going to be our starting position to determine the latitude of this particular point on the map. The first thing we need to do is place our ruler in line with that location marked on our map. So that means we need to decide whether we're going to move our ruler north of the equator and above the line or south of the equator and below the line. So hopefully, as you can see, my location is actually in the southern hemisphere, so it is south of the equator. Therefore, I have moved my ruler in line with that location. Now it's a case of using the coordinates on the left and right side of the map to determine 
what number that ruler is on. And as you can hopefully see from either reading the left or the right hand side of the map, my ruler is directly on 30 degrees south. So that is our starting point for determining the overall location of this particular place. It is 30 degrees south of the equator and that is the latitude. Now let's find the longitude coordinate. So from your point on your map, leave your ruler where it is and instead draw a line to either the top or bottom of your map until you are in line with the coordinate. From here, you'll be able to determine how far west or east you are from the prime meridian, that line that runs from zero degrees from the north pole to zero degrees to the southern pole. And that way, you'll have your overall latitude and longitude coordinate for this particular location, which is 30 degrees south of the equator and 150 degrees east of the prime meridian. So now let's have another go with a different location. So I'm going to place a dot on my map again. This time I'm going to put it in the top left hand side of the map, just so you have an idea of where it is. Hopefully you can see it. We're going to start by placing our ruler on the equator and first of all determining whether we're going to move our ruler north of the equator or south of the equator. From here, see which numbers your ruler is in line with on the left or right hand side of the map. In this case, it is 75 degrees. And then remember your compass direction, you move the ruler above the equator, so the compass direction is north in this case. And that is our latitude coordinate. Now let's move on to our longitude coordinate. So from your point, trace a line either to the top of your map or the bottom of the map and see what number you are in line with there. This will determine your longitude and how far west or east you are from the prime meridian. And if we then place these two coordinates together, we have a latitude of 75 degrees north and a longitude of 30 degrees west. Okay, so if we have a go of trying this one more time on this particular production map, I'm going to throw a location this time in the top right hand corner of the map. So the first thing we do is we take our ruler and place it on the equator and determine whether we're going to move our ruler north or south. We're then going to look at the left or right hand side coordinates of the map and determine what number we are in line with. And sometimes you might have to estimate because not every number is on the map. So as you can see here on the screen, I'm between 60 degrees north and 75 degrees north. So I'm going to estimate I am at a latitude of 70 degrees north. Then I'm going to trace a line up to the top or bottom of my map and determine how far west or east I am from the prime meridian. And then overall, I get a coordinate of this location of 70 degrees north and 100 degrees east. Now, not all latitude and longitude coordinate maps do come in the shape of a rectangle. Some of them do actually come in the shape of a sphere, a bit like what you're seeing on the screen now. And this is more to replicate the actual shape of the Earth. Now, there is a slight bit of challenge added to this one, as when it comes to determining the longitude line, you can no longer take a straight line up. So I'm going to work through this example with you and show you how I would use this type of map to determine latitude and longitude of a location. So my recommendation, as with the first map, is to highlight the equator, the line that runs through the centre of the Earth, so we have a good anchor point to start with our latitude coordinate. And don't forget the equator determines how far north or south we are in relation to latitude. Then if we highlight our prime meridian that runs again from the north pole at zero degrees to the southern pole at zero degrees, and this line determines how far east or west we are from the prime meridian. So if we begin by placing a dot on the screen, and just like in our last examples, we place that ruler along the equator and determine whether we're going to move our ruler north of the equator and above the line or south of the equator and below the line to get to our location first of all. Then we refer to the left and right hand side of the map to have a look at what latitude coordinate number our ruler is now in line with, which in this case is 45 degrees north. Now, as I previously mentioned, there is a little extra challenge with this type of map because you cannot draw a line from your point to the top or bottom of the map to determine longitude because it is a sphere type map. So instead, this time, we actually guide a line in a more circular curved shape in line with the sphere of the planet 
and the longitude lines that are guided on this map from the top of the map to the bottom of the map, you'll notice they're slightly curved. Then we need to determine whether we are west or east of the prime meridian. And sometimes you might have to kind of estimate the number on your map because not all coordinates will actually be written at the top and bottom of the map. So in relation to this particular location, we have a latitude of 45 degrees north and a longitude of 105 degrees east. So let's have another go with this style of map. So I'm going to throw a location up in this time in the bottom left hand side of the screen. We place our ruler on the equator. Then we need to decide whether we're going to move our ruler north or south of the equator in line with that location. Then we look at the coordinates on the left and right hand side of the map and look at what line of latitude our ruler is on or in relation to. So in this case, we've got a latitude line of 30 degrees south because we are below the equator. Again, on this type of map, we do not draw a straight line up to the top or bottom to determine longitude. Instead, we are guiding our line in a curved like manner as the Earth is a sphere until we get to a number at the top or bottom of the map to see how far west or east we are in relation to the prime meridian. So overall for this location, we have a latitude of 30 degrees south and a longitude of 135 degrees west. So I hope you found that brief overview of giving latitude and longitude coordinates for locations on maps useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.